Welcome back to the Olive Oil Critic. I'm Emily Lycopoulos, and I am so excited to be here with you today, tasting another one of my favorite olive oils. This year has been such a challenging harvest for many, but California actually did pretty well this year. And that is a blessing in the grand scheme of things because the Mediterranean has really been struggling with their oils. So to be able to have a good harvest here at home is a real, real blessing. This oil I'm gonna share with you today is a 100% Arbequina from American Olive Farmer. They are based just outside of uh, Corning, California. So they're right in the heart of olive country in Northern California. And the proprietor Liz is doing some incredible things with her olives. Um, Arbequina is by far the most common gr olive grown in uh, California. It's very common to find there. It was really where a lot of experimentation with the cultivar happened as well. And this is a 100% Arbequina from, from American Olive Farmer. And this is a beautiful bottle and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you today. California Arbequina is a little bit different from what you would find in Spain. It's traditionally a Spanish cultivar. And most of the time, Arbequina from Spain and riper varieties are very sweet. They're very, very mild and buttery and very, very fruity on the nose, especially the aroma and the flavor is very much fruit forward. It's a ripe, ripe oil typically. But often in California, it can be a little bit more green. And this is an example of this. And I'm so excited to taste it because it's a little bit more unique than typical Arbequina. So let's give it a sniff and see what we can find in the glass. Mm, lots of fresh cut grass, <laughs> goodness. It's so green, <clears throat> it's really vibrant. You've got notes of fresh artichoke as well. A little bit of Granny Smith apple on the nose. It's very herbaceous, but lots and lots of grass. It's definitely a greener oil than a typical Arbequina. Oh, it's buttery. It's really viscous. It's got this beautiful, almost thickness to it. It's got a beautiful viscosity that gives the oil a beautiful body. Oh, it's really, really herbaceous. There's notes of almond. Um, like a toasted almond is very, very present on the sides of the palate. You've got notes of fennel. It's very herbaceous, almost hints of mint in it as well. And a beautiful green peppercorn finish on the back of your palate. This oil is very vibrant. Um, it's complex. It's full in flavor. It's extremely well balanced. Uh, this is a really, really beautiful example of an Arbequina. Again, creamy, well balanced, lots of body to it. And within that, there's it's almost like fresh lettuce as well. I love how the notes just keep coming. There's so much um, going on in this oil. There's so much vibrancy. Um, it would be beautiful in an aioli. I would love to use this oil over a caprese salad. It would be lovely in a salad dressing. Again, it's not going to overpower, but it's not going to hide. There's lots and lots of flavor going on in this oil. It's beautiful with fish. I'd love to poach halibut in this or even use it with cod, um, even lake trout, squeeze of lemon, drizzle of oil, quickly fry on the grill. This would be absolutely exquisite. I just can't get over how creamy it is, but it's still so green. And it's got this beautiful body. I can't really describe it other than that. But the, the viscosity in the oil is so present, but it leaves your palate clean. It doesn't leave a greasy film. It's not slippery. It's not even oily, really. It's just got this beautiful, rich, creamy body. Um, I'd love to use it in cake, especially because of that kind of almond, sweet almond note. It's really, really present in, in the mouth. Um, this would be beautiful with like a lemon olive oil cake or a citrus olive oil cake. Um, you could easily use it with delicate cheeses. I'd love it drizzled on burrata with some roasted tomatoes. Lots of versatility with this oil. You can do so much with it. It's very well balanced, like I said. And because of just how green it is and the way that the body shows up, it really would be beautiful in almost any way um, when you're cooking with it. Arbequina usually is a pretty versatile oil, but this oil is exceptionally versatile in how it's been created and the flavor and the body of it is really, really special. I hope you enjoyed this review of Lucero, uh, an American olive farmer's 100% California Arbequina. Questions, please write in the comments and I look forward to hearing from you.